Hello, Virgo. This is your love message for November. If this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, so we have change and progress. And we also have fire magic. Wow, okay. So I, with all the other signs, we've got a lot of change and transformation coming. I think that's true with everyone at the moment due to this eclipse that's coming. Um, probably when I'm uploading this video. Um, but yeah, the... The eclipse is going to be a time for great change, for transforming and releasing things from your life that no longer serve you. That's typically what we do with um, eclipse energies. Okay, we have the power of purpose. Okay. And we have let it go. Yeah. So Virgo, I think that you're going to be letting go of things that no longer serve you. You also have the roots of abundance. So um, I feel like abundance is coming towards you. Uh, you may not see it at the moment, but you've said it, that you've planted the seeds. You have um, did the work and now it's on its way. And I think that also has to do with your power of purpose, your fire magic. I feel like you are manifesting something great in your life right now that may be love. That may be something that's coming towards you that's going to fill your destiny. You have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Yeah, so you're definitely looking for love at the moment, Virgo. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, so definitely you have let it go and forgiveness. So definitely there's something. If, if you're dealing with feelings of the past, yeah, you need to let them go and forgive. Not for them but for yourself. Forgive so that you can move on. Forgive this so that you can heal. At the bottom of the deck, you have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah, so always follow your intuition. Your intuition in a situation, your gut feeling, that intuitive person inside of you is trying to give you good advice. Um, you should always listen to your intuition because it will almost never steer, steer you wrong. Okay, let's get some cards out for you, Virgo. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, guides, and angels, please give me a love message for Virgo. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. I feel like something that you've worked on for a very long time, you found that you have to release that. I feel like you're walking away from a situation that you put a lot of effort into. I feel like you put a lot of patience and work into the situation, but it just wasn't leading you where you wanted to go. You have the King of Pentacles. And you have the Six of Wands. You have the Tower. Okay. 
You have the Five of Swords. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And you have the Chariot. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel whatever you're dealing with at the moment, you are... You are definitely putting in the work. Maybe you're working on yourself at the moment because of this relationship or this situation that you had to let go of. Maybe you're doing a lot of work on yourself at the moment and you are looking towards a more spiritual aspect for healing. I feel like whatever you're doing, it's definitely creating a new beginning for you. This is definitely a change. This is definitely a change in your situation. Now, in the first row, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this king, he's very practical and very stable. I feel like this is someone that you're looking for. You're looking for stability. You're looking for that practicality in your life. You are looking for someone who will balance you out and be that strong leader. And I feel like you are freeing yourself from a situation. A situation that's bringing you great change. But in this change, in this tower moment, it's going to lead to your satisfaction, your abundance, your prosperity, um, a great love situation. If, if this isn't new love, if this isn't someone bringing love to the table, I feel like this is you dealing with yourself. This is you creating that for yourself. With the... Eight of Cups and the Six of Wands, I feel like you felt like you had to walk away from a situation. And that may be because you felt like you had to let go and you had to forgive someone for the situation. Um, or you had to forgive yourself. But I feel like you're walking away into... A more successful time. So you have the success card as well. And that's exactly what the Six of Wands means. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And I feel like someone is, someone's got their eye on you, Virgo. Someone sees you for exactly who you are. Someone sees you as someone they can be victorious with they can build a great abundance with I feel like someone sees you as their ten of Pentacles very interesting okay we also have the five of swords and the chariot I feel like you're moving away from the drama You've kind of had enough from the drama. It kind of defeated you at the moment. And you feel like this person has taken everything from you. This person has taken everything that you cared about. That's why you're healing. But I feel like you're moving on. I feel like you're finally at a point when... You are healing. You are finally in a place. And this may be that you're physically moving. Um, maybe you're physically or maybe you have moved. Um, but I, I feel like this led you to physically moving away. I kind of feel that for you. This made you 
relocate, maybe to get away from this person. Um, now, I'm not saying this person was bad. I'm saying that, and it could be that this person was someone who was very unhealthy for you. But I'm, I'm just feeling like you're kind of content with the situation. You're just moving on, starting new. Okay, let's find some clarifiers. Let's clarify this message for Virgo. Let's clarify this message for Virgo. Okay, we have, with the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Judgment. So yeah, I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know that through all of this hard work and effort, you're finding balance, you're finding recovery. Spirit is here to support you. I feel like you've made a... A full circle. I also feel like with this card, um, with the judgment, I feel like you found your purpose. I feel like with the judgment card, you have found your purpose. This has led, this situation has led you to your purpose. Please let me know if that resonates with you. Very interesting. With this Eight of Cups, we have the Five of Cups. So yeah, this is this was actually something that was very hard to let go. You're still disappointed in this situation. You are kind of still feeling the wounds, is what I want to say. With the King of Pentacles, you have the Page of Wands. So I feel like this king or queen, whatever you want to say, whatever gender you want to put towards the card, I feel like this, there's going to be a message that comes from this. They're going to send you a message. And now all kinds of cards want to fly out. Spirit wants to give you so many messages on this situation. Um... With the Six of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups. So I, I feel like this person who wants to come towards you, this person who wants to give you a message, actually sees you as a very, a person in the spotlight. They see you as someone who has many people around them, has a lot of success, who is um, very eye-catching is what I want to say. Oh, wow. Um, but I, I feel like this person who wants to come forward thinks that you have many options. They think that you have many people who are coming towards you. Um, wow. Do you have many options, Virgo? Are there many people coming around you? Now, I don't see a lot of people in this reading, but this person who wants to send you a message, who wants to, six of ones again. Yeah, okay. With this change, it's going to actually put you in the spotlight. This change, this tower moment, is actually your blessing in disguise. This is actually, uh, I, I feel like saying that you're um, a phoenix rising from the ashes, Virgo. I feel like you are victorious. The, this tower moment has left you very, yeah, very victorious. With this Five of Swords, you have the Queen of Wands. So yeah, this situation has actually made you very, um, 
more appealing, more attractive, more... The Queen of Wands, she's beautiful. She's attractive. Everyone finds her very vibrant. And with the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, okay. This is a pretty good reading, Virgo. You are... I feel like your dreams are coming true. The Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful. She is very um, giving. She's very uh, fertile for abundance. With the Chariot, you have the Two of Swords. So I feel like you're moving, but you're moving in two different directions. I feel like you are, you're kind of at a stalemate. You are needing to make a decision. You're needing to make a decision. I, I feel like there are two paths that you can go on, but you're needing to make them pass. Now, these cards wanted to pop out, so I'm just going to go ahead and take them just for the sake of, of clarifying a little bit further. Um, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever you're doing at the moment, whatever work you're putting in, is actually working out. You have the death card, but the death card is in reverse. So I feel like you are, you're going through changes, but I feel like some of those changes you're kind of reluctant to take, but you have to know that because of those changes, it's going to bring a bright new beginning. The, the stars are in alignment for you. After this ending, after this tower moment, yeah, it's a new beginning. I think you should, need, you should, um, I'm feeling like the hangman, sacrifice, surrender into the change. Whatever this is, um, I, I definitely feel like you don't want to go through this. I feel like you feel like it's a total ending. But you're ending this reading with the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you are dealing with, I feel like in the end you're going to be happy. You're going to find happiness. You're going to find total contentment in the situation. Okay. Yeah, you have the Hierophant on the bottom. So I think maybe looking towards your higher self is something that would be very beneficial for you. Now, the Hierophant can also be someone who's wanting to propose, someone who's wanting to build a life with you. That's the same with the Ten of Pentacles. That could be um, marriage, family. So the Hierophant could also mean that this person who's coming forward may be the one. So don't hold yourself back, Virgo. Um, give yourself the freedom from the past to move on to something more beautiful. Okay. With this we have a judgment adjustments are required third quarter moon yeah so i feel like you should pay attention to the details i i really feel the hangman energy virgo and that you need to look at this from a different perspective you need to surrender and just accept what's coming And you have new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. Okay. You have new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, so I believe in this situation, there's beautiful things. 
that are coming. At the bottom of the deck, you have believe in the impossible, the blue moon. So, yeah, be open and receptive to something new that's coming, Virgo. I think these are beautiful beginnings. I, I feel like what's coming towards you in the month of November is great possibilities. Does that make sense? If this is resonating with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in the situation. And I will see you on the next reading. Many blessings. Love and light to you, Virgo.